Twitch Champ Games here once again and today we're going to continue with the arms system so yeah uh, first let's fix the um, <coughs> let's fix the uh, arm placement on the skeleton or the gun placement on the skeleton arms I mean so first, let's go to the FPS mesh and let's find the mesh here. Now let's preview, preview the ri rifle idle animation like this. And now I will actually make that hand look a little bit better because it look good. Okay, we have to find that uh, animation. It is this one, FP rifle idle. Okay, and now I will. First, I will actually create a uh, animation from the current pose. Okay, and now I will go to the first person and blueprints, and I will create a new folder called animations. And I will. Uh, create this animation there. I will call it AR14 underscore static static like this. Okay. And now I have the static static version of that. And now we can uh, actually move the hand so it will look better. So yeah. First we have to click on the root. Uh, no, 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 not from the, on the root. We have to find the left hand is here and L. And actually, we want to we want to yeah, maybe turn this lower arm or actually first turn that upper arm. I will actually uh, click this off and turn it uh, like a few degrees like this. And now I want to turn the lower arm also like maybe like this and I want to check how it fits now I want to turn it a little bit more and give it more up like this okay now I think I would want to turn the thumb a little bit and it is the uh, thumb 0 0.1 L. And now I can turn it to here and also turn it back to um, how do I do that? From here, maybe. Like this. Maybe a little bit back up. Like this. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Now we can actually uh, add a key so it saves all this and save. And now we can go to the to here and change this animation to that with that just that we just created our AR14 static. And now let's play and see how it looks. It looks much better. Okay, that's pretty nice. So now it looks like he's holding the gun. Okay. Now we want to go back to the animation, to the blueprints folder, and to the animation. And actually, I will do a few things before. I will set this uh, blueprints folder's color to uh, light blue, so I can see it like better. And now, from here, I will change this animation folder to. Um, I usually make it like light green or something something like this that you can make it look however however you want and this hat I will set it to it's kind of yellow okay and now we actually can start creating the uh, weapon oh oh I forgot uh, we have to go back uh, to the animation folder and AR40 static, this one. Now we want to 
create asset, create animation one more time. So it saves all these. And create print pose like this. And we want to add it to the anime, uh, no, to the animations here. And I will call it AR14 and I will change it to static after I have done this. Okay, now we can remove this old static animation and we can call, uh, rename this to static. Okay, now it has saved and it doesn't have all those keys here, so we can uh, adjust things later. Okay, now I will actually just add the animation again here and use animation asset and then oh not this one fps mesh use animation asset air 14 static like this and now we can start create the creating the weapon sway code okay so yeah let's go to the event graph and let's find the weapon sway this one let's open it and now we can actually remove all this code because if we want to use the hands uh, if, or if we are using the hands we this code will be uh, like a lot different so we can remove everything except the delta time promote delta time thing here okay and now we want to add a branch to here then we want to get a uh, ADS in and is reloading like this. And I will execute it here. And now we want to or boolean like this and connect these. And now we want to get not boolean. Okay. Compile and save. And then we can start creating the uh, normal weapons we code. So First, we have to uh, go to local variables, and we have here here final rod, initial rod. So let me move this a little bit. Uh, initial rod, final rod, and the max way degree. Actually, we want to duplicate this and call it final rod uh, ads. Then we also want to duplicate this and call it max way degree ads. And now let's check what is max way degree one max way degree like 0.5 or something okay and now oh we also have to do one more thing which is we have to go back to the event graph and find the ads ads code and we actually want to add a little thing to here I will actually move this a little bit more down so we can get more space. So yeah, after this we want to get the FPS mesh, get a relative um, transform like this. And now we want to promote this to a variable, connect it to here and This and now we have to call this uh, FPS mesh uh, transform ADS, and actually we can change this to uh, FPS mesh transform also. Okay. Now I think we have it here. Okay, now we can go back to the weapons way. I will actually change, uh, close a few of these because I have many of them. And then we can we can mm, first we have to get I look this one. Now we have to split this, and now we have to multiply. Multiply it. Actually, we have to add a, another multiply node here, and from the Y, 
Now we have to get the max way degree, local variable that we have here. And we have to connect it to both of these. Okay. And then we have to set the final uh, rotation and get it from here to be true. And now what we want to set is we actually have to split this strike pin and we want to uh, connect the x the return, return value to the set and x and the y to y like this. And now now we want to uh, get the hand hand smash or the FBS mesh. Actually I will change this name to hand smash because it sounds much better. Hand smash. Okay. Now we have to set relative rotation like this. And now we have to connect there. Let's leave a lot space here in between. So yeah. And now we have to start creating the real code for it, which is uh, we have to get the initial rotation and split it. Then we want to get the final rotation and split it also. Then we want to add this y value to this y value like this. And now we want to copy this add node and add this set value to this set value. And now I will align this. Okay. Now we have to make rotator. Make ro rotator like this. And oh, we want to connect this to the y. And this is the set. Okay. Fuck. Sorry. And now we want to we want to actually split this again. And we want to multiply this by minus one so it inverts it. And then we want to clamp. Oh, not clamp axis, clamp uh, float. Clamp float. And the values that I like to use are like minus three and three. They work uh, pretty good, nicely for me. After we have done this, you can try and add just the values how you want. Now we want to copy this to here. Then we want to connect this to the to here also. And here I like to put minus eight and eight. Then we want to get the hand mesh. And from here, get relative rotation like this. Okay. And here we want to R interp to node this one. And this one we can actually connect to here. And now we want to split this target and connect uh, uh, this uh, Y value to the Y. And set to the set. Then we want to get the delta time, which is here. We'll actually move it to here. So we have to put the delta time, connect it to the delta time, and the interrupt speed I will use like three on this one if I remember correctly. Now I think we can actually try how it works if we are not aliasing, and it will not work. For some reason, oh, oh, we haven't connected the uh, uh, weapons way from here. Let's connect it. Now it should work. Now you can see it has a nice weapons way.
and it's pretty much the same as speed to the up and to the right and left up and down this and right and left like this even uh, when the up and down values are minus 3 and 3 and to the right and left are minus 8 and 8 they are they look pretty much the same yep look nice, but now in VADS it doesn't yet have it uh, I will check how long this video has been going Okay, it's been over 15 minutes, so I think I will stop here and create a another episode right after this, which I will also release today, I hope. So yeah, if you like the content, if you learned something new, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want. And yeah, have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.